will bring a sigh of relief, the restoration of fuel to drivers, but it may be several days before they get back to normal. As 7 News' Melanie Palmer tells us, it's been tough for those who work out of their vehicles. Gas stations like this here in Spartanburg still without gas, and these interruptions are expected to continue for days. In the meantime, this means more drivers are running out of fuel. Others are having a hard time tracking down a ride. Behind this door sits Ted Baldwin's office. Helping people try to like bring a little sunshine into a bad situation. A place where he can bring comfort and relief to those who need it badly. And luckily right now, has a full tank of gas. This is something that we definitely don't prepare for on a daily basis. He and his crew have been busy helping drivers who have run out of fuel. The only problem is where to take them. The towing company is searching for stations stocked with gas while also making sure their tow trucks have a full tank. It's not easy to get one of these trucks in there when there's 20 and 40 cars waiting in line because maybe a fuel delivery just came. There has been an uptick in the amount of gas stations that are running out of gas. Fear that there is going to be no gas has been a real thing, unfortunately. It's not just causing added stress for tow truck drivers, but for rideshare drivers as well. I've had a lot of riders tell me that they've waited an hour, some have waited two hours, just to get me as their Uber, saying that there was no one else that was telling them no cars available. Tashay Adams, also known as the Uber Queen of South Carolina, tells us she hasn't seen a lot of fellow drivers on the road. And until things get back to normal. We don't want to raise our costs to, to the community because we know it's going to end hopefully in a short period of time. It's something that we have to uh, adapt and overcome. Our tow truck driver says he's not going to let any interruption stop him from doing what he knows best. And even though the pipeline is back, working leaders with AAA are saying once again, only get the gas you need and don't make this problem worse. In Spartanburg County, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. The exact timeline still unclear. Colonial Pipeline says it will be several days till things are back to normal. 